I've always been intrigued by the potential of e-commerce, particularly drawn to drop shipping as of late, right? Given its low barriers to entry and the ability to operate with minimal overhead. Now, recently I've managed to scale my own Amazon drop shipping business into a six figure operation. And I wanted to share the journey here with you along with the tools, the strategies, and all the software that helped propel my success. My love affair with Amazon as a drop shipping platform was no accident. It boasts an extensive consumer base, but Really what captivates me is the capacity for automation once you get started, right? Once my products were integrated into Amazon's inventory, numerous software tools then potentially took over. And they worked diligently in the background to manage all the aspects of my actual dropshipping business, from product research, to repricing, to order processing, and even tracking numbers being input into the orders themselves. Now to thrive in the competitive arena of Amazon, Identifying lucrative products is absolutely crucial. My secret weapon has always been a software named Source Mogul. I've covered it several times. Basically what it does is it cross-references Amazon's enormous product catalog against hundreds of other websites and pinpoints products that sell less elsewhere than they do on Amazon. Now, this tool's not just a time saver, but it's also a treasure trove of opportunities because it effortlessly highlights profitable products that you can then buy and add to your inventory to be drop shipped. Even with a list of potential products, right? Ensuring their profitability and their sales viability is also crucial. So you can use the profit calculator that comes in Amazon completely free to do this. And I also highly recommend looking into the Jungle Scout Chrome extension to gauge the sales velocity as well. That way you can consider the aspects such as how much they're selling, as well as total profitability after Amazon fees to gauge whether the product is actually something you want to list or not. Navigating the complexities of pricing on Amazon is also crucial as well where numerous sellers vie for the buy box on a specific listing, which is that coveted add to cart yellow button, understanding how to get it more is something that you absolutely need to grasp. Using repricing software is also crucial as well, right? So instead of spiraling into a race to the bottom pricing strategy by constantly one-upping everybody else and going lower on your price, I recommend just matching the buy box or matching the lowest price. That way you don't trigger that race to the bottom pricing. And you can also use the free repricer that comes in Amazon. You don't need to upgrade and pay for any fancy software especially when you're first starting out. This is gonna help manage your prices automatically and ensure that your prices remain competitive without sacrificing profitability and make sure that you get that coveted buy box constantly to help you make more sales. You can also manage your inventory and your order processing effortlessly with SKU Grid and Spot and Paste. So SKU Grid will routinely check the products all against your supplier stock, which will prevent the sale of an out of stock item on Amazon, which is an issue that you don't want to have. It will also cross reference the prices and update your prices in the back end of Seller Central once set up so you never make a sale where you're actually losing money. Another lifesaver is Spot and Paste, which will dramatically cut down your order processing time by copying the address from your Amazon order and pasting it with the click of a button into wherever you're ordering it from. Order tracking is another facet that was amplified by software in my business. I used TrackerBot and this software scanned email communications that my suppliers would send me after orders, which identified and matched and then input future tracking numbers automatically into the corresponding order on Amazon, which basically was a hands-off solution for me and took my time out of the equation from constantly having to input tracking numbers into orders when I got the emails for them. All of these softwares are game-changing solutions for certain aspects within an Amazon dropshipping business. And they take your time out of the equation for a fraction of the cost of what it would take you to actually buy back your time. Now, additionally, carving out a niche in a competitive marketplace and tapping into less conventional suppliers is absolutely crucial as well. By avoiding direct competition with a multitude of sellers and selecting unique products from obscure suppliers that nobody else is actually sourcing from, you can actually build a sustainable and less competitive drop shipping business where you're not constantly having to find new products to actually get winners. For those of you venturing into the realm of Amazon drop shipping, consider delving deeper into each one of these tools that I've outlined. I've done extensive tutorials and have playlists on each and every one of these software, so just check the Amazon drop shipping playlist. It's all there for free. Really hope this helps.